One of the oldest civilizations in Italy is the Este culture. It was developed by a group of hunter-gatherers who migrated from the Caucasus in the 3rd millennium BCE and settled along the Adige River between Lake Gotter and the Adriatic Sea. The name Este derives from Atest or Adesh, which is an abbreviation of the ancient Indo-European phrase Aditi Desha, which means boundless land. Similarly, the name of the river Adige was originally Aditi Jala, meaning unbound waters. Both names are connected with the worship of the ancient Vedic goddess Aditi, the celestial mother of all living things and natural evolution, who was associated with rivers, transformation, transmission and even mystic speech. She was related to several South Asian goddesses such as Aslik, Anahita, and Ashira. While resisting the invasion of the Celts, the Este culture was conversant with the Vanity and Etruscan civilizations and was indirectly influenced by Greek mythology. Consequently, the figure of Aditi merged with that of Rhea the mother of the Olympian gods and goddesses, giving rise to the goddess Ratia. The Este people specialized in the production of bronze artifacts such as the elegant water pails called situlas. The Adige River Valley was absorbed into the Roman Empire in the 2nd century BCE. From the 5th to the 9th centuries AD, the area was raided and conquered by successive hordes of invaders, mainly the Huns, Ostrogoths, Byzantines and Lombards. Legend has it that in the late 8th century, a boy named Rogero, the son of a Christian knight and a Muslim lady, was raised by a wizard in North Africa as a Saracen warrior. While fighting the Christians in France, Ruggiero met the Frankish woman Bredemont. He finally resolved to convert to Christianity and marry her. Their firstborn son was named Adalberto. He became the first margrave of Milan in 940 and ruled over northwestern Italy. Adalberto's great-great-grandson, Albertazzo II, expanded his kingdom eastwards to the Euganian hills and built a castle in Este to prevent the advance of the Venetians. When Albertazzo II married Cunigunda of Aldorf in 1035, he established the so-called House of Este, a princely family which would eventually become linked with several royal dynasties, including the House of Habsburg and the British royal family. Albertazzo and Cunigunda's son was named Guelph or Guelph, whose successors in the 12th century founded the Guelph movement, symbolized by an eagle overcoming a dragon, associated with the Lombard League, which supported the Pope to counter the attempts by the Holy Roman Emperors to assert influence over the Kingdom of Italy. When Frederick Barbarossa undertook his six expeditions against the Pope between 1154 and 1176 to expand imperial power in Italy, his supporters became known as Weiblings or Ghibelins from the name of their headquarters in Weiblingen, Germany. One of the fiercest Ghibelin leaders was Ezzelino III, who built the castle of Mont Selice in 1239, about 7 kilometers east of Este Castle, and became infamous as a cruel tyrant. The name Mont Selice means Mountain of Flintstone, which is one of the main rocks the hill is composed of. 
An imposing watchtower was built on the hilltop using trachyte blocks from local quarries. Next to the castle is Villa Nani, whose stairway and courtyard are decorated with several statues of deities, titans and dwarves. On the hillside, below the watchtower, is a Romanesque church dedicated to Justine of Padua, and six chapels positioned along a cobbled path leading to a triumphal arch, beyond which is St. George's Sanctuary, dedicated to dragon slayers, in relation to the legend according to which Azzolino III would have reincarnated as a dragon after his death in 1259. Este and Monselice were conquered by Ubertino, Lord of Padua, in 1338. He improved the local road system and dug a canal that connected Padua to Monselice and Este and continued for another 16 kilometers to the fortified city of Montagnana, surrounded by huge city walls and towers. The last Paduan lord was Francesco Novello. He married Tadea of Este in 1376, who bore him seven children. Thirty years later, he was arrested and killed by Venetian soldiers. His famous last words were, Let the devil come and take me. Shortly thereafter, his land was annexed by the Venetian Republic. One of the spookiest buildings in Este is Villa Benvenuti, sitting on top of an ancient necropolis. In the 16th century, it belonged to Luigi Elvise Cornaro, a nobleman who wrote treatises on longevity, hydraulics, and architecture. His personal gardener and jester was Angelo Biolco, an actor and playwright who amused his audiences with dirty jokes and impressions. The Cathedral of Este houses one of the best pipe organs in Italy. The tradition of organ building in the region goes back to Gaetano Calido, born in Este in 1727, who made organs for hundreds of churches throughout Italy until the end of the 18th century. The most notorious building in Este is Villa Contarini, which is said to be haunted by the ghost of Count Howitch, whose coat of arms featured a black goat. He lived here from 1820 until his death in 1832. The villa's interior is frescoed with allegorical images of demons and other ghostly figures. In 1796, the French troops, led by Napoleon, occupied the Venetian territories west of the Adige while the rest of northeastern Italy, including Este and Monselice, was handed over to the last Holy Roman Emperor, Francis II of Austria. George Byron and Percy Bysshe Shelley lived in a quaint house opposite the Este Castle in 1817 and 1818, writing poems on the front porch and in the garden. In 1833, the American philosopher Ralph Waldo Emerson visited this region and wrote, Monselice is the most picturesque town I have seen in Italy. It has an old ruin of a castle upon the hill, and thence commands a beautiful and extraordinary view of the wide plain below. The English philosopher John Ruskin followed in his footsteps seven years later and described the surrounding countryside as dotted with ancient ruins among cypress trees and grapevines. The Veneto region was merged with the Kingdom of Italy in 1866 
which became a republic 80 years later, leaving Este and Monceliche as a reminder that fear and hostility can be turned into awakening and hospitality. <laughs>